Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to essentially create a free paper trading account that you can use to trade risk-free with simulated currency on the ATAS order flow trading software. So, and like the video title suggests, if you aren't familiar with it, you can actually connect to the ATAS SIM server right within your connection settings on this platform. Now doing so will pretty much allow you to have a built-in free simulated paper trading account, which you can use to test strategies and simulate orders. Now it's really easy to do so, and all we'll need to do is come up to the top right hand corner here, click on settings, and then click connection to data feed. Now you'll see I do have my live account connected. This step is pretty much up to you. I would like to let you know that if you do have this still connected here, you can essentially receive live data. Your charts will still fluctuate with live data. Your dome will still fluctuate with live data. And you can use this built in paper trading mode or paper trading account to simulate your orders still using your live data feed in your live trading account. Now, otherwise, and I've tested this out before, if you do disconnect your live data feed, you'll still be able to place orders, but it does not look like your live data feed will actually flow in and it doesn't look like price action is going to flow or neither will your charts. So you're pretty much just trading with either delayed or a stagnant feed. So like I said, it's up to you. You can disconnect this if you want to avoid any, you know, errors or accidentally trading with the wrong account, but you won't have access to live data. So I'd suggest keeping this on. But again, this is up to you. Now to connect to the simulated paper trading server and create yourself a free account. All we'll need to do is come to the bottom left hand corner. Once we're in this window, click on add from here, scroll down and choose a task SIM, click on next, click on next once more. And now we're pretty much in. If you want to connect to the server, you can click connect on connect, of course, click on connect. And this will now activate the SIM mode. So this is pretty much just going to give you the opportunity to choose from a simulated account. Once you have this enabled, if you test out a strategy and you find it profitable or whatever the case may be, you can switch back and forth between accounts on the fly. I would not technically suggest to have this connect on startup. It really doesn't matter because like I just based off the statement I just said, you can switch back and forth. But I would just suggest to keep this off. That way you can manually come in and out of this paper trading simulated server whenever you need. So now that we're connected on both, let's just open up a dome so you have an idea of what we're working with here. We'll click on smart dome. We'll click on um, the ES 19 of December. So as you can see, our data is fluctuating. We're still receiving live data. You'll notice because we are connected to our live trading account here, our live account will still be avail available here. But the main difference is we can now select our demo account because we are connected on the ATAS SIM server. Our data is still flowing in. As you can see, I did try this out and place a couple of trades before. You can see these are now in our order section. It does show you the account it's associated with. Remember, this is all simulated currency. We can come to account and double check that. You can see it looks like we have a balance of $100,000 in our you know simulated account here. It does show your regular account as well. We can monitor our positions, executions, and again, our orders in it's all configured and filtered out by the account type. So just keep that in mind. Now you'll see here, if we want, we can go ahead and we'll place a buy market order. Boom, you'll see it's under the demo account and we've just placed a simulated trade under our simulated currency. And it's really that simple again, top left is where you're going to select your demo account, you can swap back and forth. Let's just show you exactly what I mean. If we go ahead and come back to our data here and disconnect from CQG. You'll notice that our data stops pouring in and we're pretty much just stuck at that stagnant price of what was currently left off. Our data is not flowing in, but you'll see our profit and loss is still moving up and down. So it obviously takes an effect the market price, but or the current market price, but it just does not show you fluctuation of data. You can see our chart stopped as well. So just keep that in mind with a simple reconnection of our data. You'll see our dome starts flowing back and data is fluctuating as normal. So really just depends on that aspect. But 
Either way, this is a really easy way to access and pretty much connect to a free simulated paper trading account. If you do have any questions, please post them in the comment section down below. You can also head over to our community forum that's linked in the description and ask questions there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more ATAS order flow trading software content. And as always, thanks for watching.